everybody, I'm Cassandra from Craft to Believe After and welcome to another episode of Hooking Up With Books that I'm doing with my very good friend Caroline over at For The Love Of Crochet. Now we have done quite a few books, I think this is probably our fifth book that we have done already in the series. The book we did this month which we started the 15th of February and which is ending today the 15th of March is One Day by David Nichols. Now, you guys, to be honest, I did struggle a lot with this book. Once I started reading it, I realized that years and years ago, I actually did see the movie version of it, but I couldn't remember almost any of it. But it was a big struggle for me. It's not a book that I <laughs> sort of connected with, but be that as it may, I always feel that reading is not a waste. So reading books will never ever be a waste for me. So even though I didn't particularly enjoy the book, I still enjoy being part of the book club and you know reading whatever books we decide on in the book club. And of course the highlight is the project reveal. Um, so the project that I did for this time you guys, and it is not an omigurumi if you will believe it. Um, and it's not a particularly <laughs> fantastic project. And I think it had to do with this sort of block I had against the book. Um, so I just struggled to get a project, you know, in my mind what I wanted to do. There were a lot of wonderful themes that I probably could have used. Um, but I just, I really struggled. And what I ended up with was a very, very cute idea that I found on the website of Sorella. Now I will pop the link down below. It is a free pattern and it is for a notebook cover. Now I will show you guys and then I will explain how this fits in with the story. So this is a little notebook cover that looks like a piece of writing paper. So it looks like a piece of white paper, the blue lines as you would get with those um, normal school books that you write in and the little red line on the side. So this notebook cover represents, now there's a, a one point in the beginning of the book, um, Emma, who's the main um, female character, she writes these long letters to Dexter, um, who's the lead male character. And then also sort of in the beginning, um, Dexter writes this very long, almost sort of a declaration of love letter, which never actually gets sent. So I decided to use this notebook. So the main character, Emma, she loves reading and she always is trying to get Dexter to read um, <laughs> some decent novels. Um, and this represents not only covering a book, so you can either cover, I covered a little, I bought a little notebook. So I just made this little notebook cover. You can of course use it to cover um, a textbook, a novel, whatever. You can adjust the size of this to fit whatever book. So this is just a full, a, a very small A6 size. So it's not even an, uh, an A5. An A5 is like half an A4. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so this is a small little notebook that I covered and this paper represents the letters that Emma writes to Dexter and then the love letter that never actually got sent. So sort of an empty letter. Um, so that was my project. Now I really did enjoy making this little cover. It went really quick. I used um, Rainbow Cotton 8 four, which is a fingering weight or a, a super fine weight one. I use a 2.5 millimeter hook, which is the hook and the yarn that I usually work most of my projects in. Uh, it's my absolute favorite, favorite yarn to use. Rainbow Cotton 8.4. Now you guys, the highlight of today's episode is actually <laughs> clearly not my project, but the two projects that were submitted by lovely, lovely, yawning YouTube friends um, that have participated in a few of our um, book clubs. Uh, the first photo that I received, and I will pop a picture up on the screen while I explain to you 
exactly the background or what this photo represents. So our friend Pamela, uh, she has joined, I think, almost from the beginning, the book club. And she submitted for this book um, this adorable little owl. Now, the start of the story um, kicks off uh, on graduation night for Emma and Dexter. And uh, Pamela decided on this super cute little owl with his graduation cap to represent that very start of the story. And I think it is so adorable. Pamela, you did a fantastic job with this little owl. I absolutely love him. Um, now, the pattern is a Lion Brand free pattern. Um, and I will see if I can link the pattern for you guys in the description box if you want to go and have a look at it. But this is such a super cute graduation owl. So Pamela, as always, thank you for joining in on hooking up with books. All right, you guys, the next project. This one just blew it out of the park for me. It was my mouth hung open when I opened this email and I saw this fantastic doll. Now, this one was submitted by Kalota. She also um, have participated in previous Hooking Up With Books episodes, um, submitting projects, but this one is absolutely gorgeous. Now, she decided to crochet the main character, uh, Emma. And like I said, the book kicks off sort of in the 90s, um, just after graduation, and she crocheted this doll uh, wearing this dress, this gorgeous denim jacket, because this is what Emma wore. The shoes that she did represents the Doc Martens. Um, so all very, very iconic 90s sort of um, clothing pieces, the docks, the denim jacket. And then she also um, crocheted that beautiful little rose that Emma is holding to represent that same letter that I mentioned that my little book is based on. So the letter that was never sent. Um, this pattern that was used uh, is the Lola doll by uh, Orgulada on Etsy. And I will see if I can link the pattern down below as well. Kalota, this doll is absolutely fantastic. I love it. My mouth hung open when I saw these photos and I just kept staring at it. It is so, so beautiful. So thank you so much for submitting this amazing little doll with her backpack and her rose, her docks, her denim jacket. I absolutely love every single part of this doll. She's gorgeous. All right, you guys, that is our reveal video for Hooking Up With Books for this month. Now, our next book, kicking off today, the 15th of March, um, up until the 15th of April, is going to be Lulu's Cafe by T.I. Low. I'll pop a picture of the book on the screen, and uh, I will also link a copy of the book that you can find on Amazon or on Kindle or wherever. I'm doing the Kindle version, um, but you can get it off of Amazon. So I'll put that link down below. I'm super excited to start on it. You guys, I have been loving hooking up with books. Um, and I've been loving, you know, you guys who join in with us, everyone who sort of checks in every month to see the projects that were submitted. Thank you to everyone for your support, those who contribute, it is just fantastic to be sharing this with each and every one of you. So you guys, I will link Caroline's video down below as well, so that you can see her project reveal for one day. Um, and uh, I will see you guys on the 15th of April. Let's see what Lulu's Cafe holds. Let's see what interesting projects is going to come up from that book. Now, on the 15th of April, although we try to do books in advance, um, I believe the book that we will be starting then the 15th of April um, to the 15th of May will be um, A Man Called Ove by Frederick Bachman. Now, the reason that we're doing him, or we're doing that specific book, we've done a Frederick Bachman book before, uh, which I 
absolutely loved. Um, so the reason we decided in the end that we wanted to include a man called Ove is because there's a new Tom Hanks movie coming out, A Man Called Otto, which is based on this book. So I think you guys will love it. Um, Brit Marie was here, which was our previous uh, Frederick Bachman book, was absolutely wonderful. Um, so I've no doubt you guys will love A Man Called Ove. All right, friends, that is it. I'm done for this episode. Thank you so much for joining in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for being a part of Hooking Up With Books. I will see you all in a video very, very soon.